This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. Tokola is about to become the first country in the world to be entirely powered by solar energy. The tiny New Zealand territory relies on diesel generators, but that's about to change. Pacific correspondent Barbara Drever has been in Tokola. Tokilau radiates energy. Now it plans to harness it. By the end of this year, we will be the first country in the world you know, to uh, meet our need from renewable energy. New Zealand's given $7 million to provide solar power for 1,400 people. It's really going to give them a huge sounding board for um, overcoming some of the issues that uh, global warming is threatening them with. Tokelau's three tiny atolls are flat and isolated. The only link to the outside world is by ship. They get their electricity from diesel generators, which burn around 200 litres of imported fuel a day. 2,000 barrels are brought in each year, so solar power will dramatically cut financial and environmental costs. Oh, everybody's excited. The work's being done by the villagers themselves in a central area on each of the islands. Solar panels on roofs was ruled out because they rust being so close to the sea. The roofs are changed quite regularly and it would have been a bit of a hassle. So to actually have it as a freestanding thing on its own is probably a much better idea. But some traditions will remain. But solar power will make little difference to this open air communal style of cooking that the Tokelauans have done for generations. Instead of being at the mercy of the harsh sun, Tokelauans will be using it to improve their lives. Barbara Drever, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.